لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر وذكر الله كثيرا. يعني the Sheikh says it is incumbent upon the Muslim to receive Ramadan with the best reception. And here he said يعني that the people differ. Greatly in the manner in which they receive the month of Ramadan. People differ greatly. Not a little bit, but greatly. Yani, there is a group of people who receive the month of Ramadan by yani, going forward to the marketplaces. It is as though they are receiving the month of eating and drinking and consuming food. And they are buying yani, more than normally. Yani to the extent that going to the market and buying food is increased in Ramadan more than their need or what is sufficient for them. You find them yani, being wasteful and extravagant in a disgraceful way. And they put on their ma'idah or on their sufra, yani the place where they eat, different types, many types of foods. Yani on one table, on one sufra, yani many types of food. And you fasted. Five, how many types of food do you need? <laughs> yani some rice, maybe some beans, some chicken or fish or something, right? I don't know, some salad or something. You need more than that? I mean, what more can you eat than that? What are you, what are you trying to do? And then they don't eat. Except a little bit of what they place there. That's really wastefulness. This one type of people. Please don't let this be us. Second type of people they said, if the month of Ramadan comes, yani they prepare themselves with instruments of play and amusement for wasting time. That which is just a waste of time. They prepare themselves <coughs> things that will occupy their precious time in this month of Ramadan. That will be, be a means of waste. That will bring about no benefit. It will be useless. يعني to waste the time في ما لا فائدة فيه with that which has no benefit whatsoever in it. Rather, many times they waste their time in those things that not just there is no benefit in it, rather there is a realized real harm that comes from these things. And they prepare the like of these affairs they ready these things with complete readiness before the coming of Ramadan. And if they get all of this stuff ready so that they can occupy themselves with nonsense in Ramadan. And then there's another group of people, a third group of people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed with tawfiq, with success and He has protected them with His riayah, yani His care and, and nah, with the, His care. And He has surrounded them with His inayah, His attention giving attention to them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is His favor upon these people that He has protected them from what the other people have fallen unto, into. And these people have made every effort to prepare themselves for Ramadan. And in the proper preparation for Ramadan. So you find some of them having a lot of ideas. And inside of his mind, he is thinking about all types of good things to do in Ramadan. And he makes a schedule. There is a time for reciting Quran. I'm not going to let a day go, I'm not going to recite Qur'an. I'm going to make this special times for Qur'an. A time for the dhikr of Allah. A time for qiyamul layl. A time for giving aid to the people who are in need. A time for spending and giving. A time for the assemblies of knowledge. So, he has so many good things that he wants to do, it's crowded. There's not enough time to do them in. He doesn't have time to waste. And some of the people, they see the month of Ramadan as being, and it's too short. He has too many plans or projects to do. And too many good deeds that he wants to engage in. And too many spacious, vast, and he feels opportunities for fulfilling acts of obedience to Allah wa ta'ala. And for this reason, the month of Ramadan is too short for some of the people. It's not sufficient for what? the abwab al-khayr that some of the people have in their hearts and in their minds 
to be engaged in. May Allah make us from those people. And I'll stop with this last group of people. Fourth group he says, yani they deal, they treat Ramadan the way they treat every other month. Yani Ramadan passed by them the same way the rest of the month passed by. No change, no difference. Even the night which has come in the Quran that is better than a thousand months, it also passed by many of the people like the passing of any other night. This is a calamity, a disaster, a loss. A tremendous loss. Yani, ghaban is like something you lost both ways on it. Yani, you were a merchant, you bought something for ten dollars a piece and you sold it for one dollar each. You get it? And you paid ten dollars. You didn't pay one dollar and sell it for ten. You paid ten dollars and sold it for one dollar. That means you lost both ways. You paid more than it's worth and sold it for less than what you paid for it. This is a tremendous loss. We had a waste. Lima la yaliku bin Muslim and yuhdirahu wa an yudayyahu. And this is a waste and a loss of an opportunity that is not befitting of the Muslim to waste and squander in this way. And for this reason, it is incumbent upon the Muslim to do well in greeting or receiving this blessed month of Ramadan and to do well in hosting this blessed month of Ramadan and to prepare oneself لِأَنْ يَكُونَ مِنْ أَهْلُ هَذَا الشَّهْرِ صِدْقًا وَحَقًا يعني that we prepare ourselves so that we will be صِدْقًا truthfully and حَقًا truly from the أَهْلُ هَذَا الشَّهْرِ the people of this month prepare ourselves for this